All right, all you devils out there, happy Friday. Sam here with you. Whoa, what about 12.45 here? Uh, what is it? Oh, shit. What is it? The 2nd of December. So we'll take, we'll take a look today at uh, both Bitcoin and Ethereum here. I'm going to start out here. This is a brave new coin, right? We can get all of our history. We've got our four-year four year cycle kind of teed up here. It's hard, hard not to be influenced by that. But that said, uh, this, this, we're sti I'm sticking with the idea, right? So until proven otherwise, one, two, one, two, one, two. Very bullish, right? Just saying it, very, very, very bullish, right? So we need a three for every one of these. So thus becomes very, very bullish. Oh, um, here, let me recenter this. God, it, it, you, you kind of, you look at that and you say, boy, it just looks so ripe for it here. We're again, the four year cycle. We're here on the edge of the center line. So we've just gone down 50% on that, on that channel. Oh, we can look at a few other things here that I have below. Um, we focus here on the RSI, right? So we and we talked about this last week here on all of these significant lows. Right now, note here I'm on a weekly when that RSI got below 20, and we just did it again. Now you see this nice trend line here. Now, that would certainly be encouraging to see us push push beyond that to kind of at least maybe start discussing the potential for a low to be in here. Again, just looking at the chart here, you would be inclined to think we got to be near, but we, we you know, really haven't had that capitulation, that 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 extreme climax low where you, you just, you have the market is so bearish, right? People are just, oh, crypto's over. We, we just, we haven't had that yet. And, and as a matter of fact, given, given the the FTX debacle, Bitcoin is holding up surprisingly well, as is Ethereum. I, actually, I'm, one thing I say, it certainly could be worse, right? Could be raining. Well, <laughs> nonetheless, um, let, let, let's just look look at a couple of things here. So I have both a here, pop my here. So I have both a logarithmic MACD and a and a and a Bollinger Band percent B. So we can just see. Oh, all, all that's showing you, it's, it's actually quite handy, showing you when we get outside of two standard deviations. So we can see we've just done it recently here, although we've done it a couple of times. We'll see here. So if I put on a, a log, let's see, let me zoom in there, a log Bollinger Band, you kind of see what that's referring to. And you get a nice, oh, here, let's bring this down here. You, you do get a nice visual representation of how the market moves. Oops. That turned off. Get, you'll you'll note here, and this is this is, I mean, this is the whole idea behind, oh, behind a squeeze, and just the the, the recognition that the market we contract, expand, contract, expand, contract, expand, contract. All right. All right. Now we could contract for a while. We, we've act, just, actually now just we've already started expanding, right? So well, here, out here on the weekly, here's the FTX debacle, right? So that's thus the expansion. But you'll note here now we've 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 been here a couple of times, not not the RSI, but we've been down here at these lows here, right on the edge of twenty. Here's the logarithmic MACD. We <laughs> teasing it. Oh, that's a that's a Stokes right. So momentum just starting to turn. We've had, you know, now that's there's no real divergence there. This was a better actually it was a better look at the divergence here because you had a little divergence here. I don't really have it here. Is that a low shaping there? Well, of course, anything's possible. It, it doesn't, it's certainly, with, you put your Elliott hat on, that's a, that's a, it just doesn't look like it could be done yet, right? So, I mean, of course, right, could be. Anything's possible. It certainly could be. But right, all we do is deal with probabilities and this, it certainly is not a pattern that we could recognize and say, well, that, that looks very much like a bottoming pattern. Now, that said, again, right, doesn't mean it's not the bottom. It's just from from the probability perspective as traders, this, this wouldn't be a highly reliable pattern that we're looking at here. Despite what we can see here, right, all of this kind of suggesting, oh, look at the RSI. Maybe we're going to have a little divergence here, right? So we've got the low here and we're not getting a new low here. But we've got price low. So you could make the case here that you've got out here on the weekly, you've got divergence, right? You've got momentum divergence, right? RSI being momentum. You've got a, a lower low here and a higher low. Same thing here, same thing. You, you could you could talk yourself into it, but then you get down to a daily chart or even a four hour one. It's very hard to get a finish there that would make sense, right? At least as we sit right now. Remember, an Elliott count is always just a snapshot in time. So, um, okay. So with that acknowledged, 
Oh, so, and now see the other thing about the percent B. Once you have that, you don't unless you like visually just to see it. You don't need the Bollinger bands on because you're what what you're looking for with Bollinger. Oh shit, where are you? You're there, right? You're looking for those extremes, right? So that that might be another way to to approach that if you don't if you don't like having the bands on. It doesn't bother me. But if I'm doing detailed Elliott wave, I, I, I don't I don't want it's just one more thing to pollute the chart. So as we look there. Well, of course, you know, we're, we're still, we don't have n no Elliotician, I don't care what he tells you, or she tells you, has any certainty, whether it's here or here. No one does. Well, no one knows. There's no way to know, right? You can make an educated guesstimate. You can, and, and you could put money, certainly money at risk on that estimate guesstimate, but no one knows, right? There's no way for us to know. Is this a five? Some sort of complex three? Is the one here? I, I, find myself wanting to put it here because I don't want to tie, as I think I've said this a couple of times, I don't want to tie these two together. I, I, I prefer, right, it's just preference, right? I prefer to have the correction all self-contained here, right? So one, two, three, four, five, here's the correction. Sharp double, maybe something more ominous. Well, we, we can't eliminate the possibility we're putting in an A, B's coming and C's coming. Can't eliminate that because to the just to your naked eye, right? I mean, it's hard not to see a potential five in that, right? So, but the, but then we're, because we're, so being a, a Bitcoin bull, you immediately go, well, if that's a five, well, then I got to put the one here because it couldn't be A B C. We're going down that low. Well, won't be so sure, right? It's very, it's very. It's, as soon as you think five, right? I immediately want to do that, right? Because I don't want, I don't want this outcome. Now, want, right? We don't want that. We should, if you're a bull, you don't want that outcome, but that, that has nothing to do with the market. What we want. Can we get it done here? Well, let's, let's look at that. Okay. So what about, oh, this is probably, I'm going to bring this over in motive way. This is probably the bull's best, best friend here for a potential low. Sticking to the, I think we looked at this last week a bit, um, a slight modification here now because we're starting to chop. I think last week we looked at this as a potential, what potentially we'd be doing, a, uh, th this would be an impulse and we might be able to dig some sort of impulse out of here, but I think it actually plays better now to do it all as a diag. So again, the assum assumption and the key piece of this is that this is the one, not here. Oh, and then here, you'd, I, I think most would agree we'd deal with this as, a, as an A, a expanded B, and then you'd work that five into the four. Do I love that? Not really. I mean, you you can do it here. You can squeeze it in. It's a little bit of a force fit. Probably a cleaner, cleaner correction to do it that way. Although it leaves you a little unsettled over here. But th that said, okay, I can get an A in here. I can get a B in here. Well, I can do this, right? I can do it as a, I can do it as a five or a three. Was part of what's making this correction so difficult to get your arms around. But let, let's let's stick with the idea because based on the the potential for this to be an ending diag to finish. Well, that would start making you think, oh, man, it's a series of three. So you'd, you'd back up and you'd go, oh, A, a B. Okay, I, can I do a three here? Yeah, can I do a three here? Now, it gets a little trickier in there. Oh, let's see. Maybe we just open it up here. It gets a little trickier. Oh, I'm here. Let's uh, got that. So it might be easier to see it over here. Yeah, this will do it. Okay, so uh, this is coming from our low here. And I only switch because I know the majority of you uh, don't don't use Motive Wave. Although, boy, if you ever wanted to upgrade, <clears throat> that's about as good as it gets. Okay, so that that aside, right? If you if you're interested in that, I should not mention this. You can find a link to it in our link bio that's under this video. For any that uh, up, up, upgrade, right? And there's. Well, there's, I, I would tell you there's nothing even close to it in technical analysis. It's just the best package there is. Right? So that said, okay, so A, B, one, two. Now, you got to get here. This is a little tricky. You're going to have to do it as an A, B, C to get your three here. Well, let's dig in there. What am I on? Let's go, oh, maybe do an eight hour here. We'll see it a little bit better. It looks like this is what is underway. Now we've had a we've done a lot. Let me get rid of that. We've we've done a lot of modification here, which is this is welcome to trading, right? You're adapting to what the market is offering to give us more clues. Through all of this, we're getting more information, but we're not getting certainty. Well, shit, do we ever get certainty? We, we continue to be wrestling with what the fuck is it? 
Where's the one, right? I mean, this could be interpreted so many different ways. It just it leaves the Bitcoin bull here and the technician frustrated. I mean, oh shit, it's, it's, it's an unusual finish. We could say it that way, right? It's, it's very easy to look at this and just, and just think, oh, it's just a big Wyckoff bottom here. Oh, shit, what did I just do? Uh, what just happened? Hang on. Back. I, I have, geez, I probably got 25, 25 tabs open. Uh, potentially, right, Wyckoff low? Accumulation, right? Here's the spring, right? Well, we're going to have to launch up to get out of that. You can certainly pull back and, and look at that and see. Oh, shit, I mean, look off, look, look up a Wyckoff accumulation, right? It's going to be look very similar. Now, that's, it's going to need to get back here pretty quickly. But from, from an Elliott perspective, boy, it's tough to finish it. You're going to have to do it this way. Three, four, now we're coming down for a five, right? That's Abby normal, no question. But is, is it? Well, it would be unusual. I'm always, well, let me rephrase that. It's not terribly unusual to finish an ABC with, with, a, with a diagonal. It's just that it, it's so spread out over time. It's a little bit. Oh, shit. It's just it's another Elliot potential Elliot pattern we can we can consider. Now, how do we lean a little bit more into this? Well, certainly the, the next thing that n just not only has to I mean, we got to overlap here. So we've got to get so ideally you'd stay within the, 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 the trend line framing of this. So the push up here might get you to 19. Can Bitcoin get to 19? Well, first thing. We, oh, no, we're not quite there. First thing we got to overlap the one. Right, if we're going to do it as a diag. And the ABC in here is a little tricky, right? The Elliotitians might, might differ on this. Oh, here, I'm doing it this way. I think you can work the five here. You got to work an ABC into the two here. This is a shaky three, but it's, it's there. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a push to get it. Four, is that the five? It's, well... You, you know, it's not, it's not gorgeous, right? So you, you, you're pretty much working with the, the, the wave structure, or I should say the swing structure here that's kind of implied. You know, because this is the kind of thing where now it's every now and then you go to a line chart and say, okay, could that be it, right? So here you definitely, you notice the, you'd be noticing the truncation here. It's very slight, but this is a higher low than this, right? So you're going, you go to a truncation last resort, right? Last resort. It's a, it's a push to get this in here. A, B, C. This is clean, right? So, oh, sorry, we have to get this over here for that for the B. One, two, three, four, five, right? So that's all quite clean. Here's the FTX debacle, all right? We come down. Oh, surprisingly, we didn't we didn't just continue to drop. Well, here's the here's the liquidity gram, right? This is just business as usual, right? So, read what. <laughs> They just never learn, right? So retail, oh, there we go, right? That's why, as I've said, I've said that probably 5,000 times. Worst possible place to enter, worst. Okay, what do we got here? Well, we got to overlap this, right? That's the first thing. Excuse me, first thing we got to do is overlap uh, 17, well, we'll call it 17, 8, 9. We got to overlap the one here, so can, what are we doing here? Is this a A, B? Kind of skinny. What you'd rather have here is that this was, a, if we're going to do some sort of a three here, well, either way, right? Is it one, two, and we're going to do an A, B, C? Or is it A, B, and we're going to have a big C? Hard to, hard, how, how would you know, right? So the, the things that we, you, you got to lean into, right, are things that we, we know the market likes to do. Okay, so let, let's just, from the top, right? We know, we know the, the, the measured move algo likes to move and it, it will move in patterns, right? It will keep trading until it fails. So, I mean, this is pervasive here as well as on Ethereum, right? So no surprise, right? So first thing right here's 50. Now, what, when you see the reaction here, right? I know we've been over this many times, right? Two, third, third reaction here. So we know it moves in, it, it likes to move in, in sequences like this. Oh, oh, I think it's here. Right here, right. So this is if you go down to a smaller time frame, you got another one here. So this now there's the target. So it it can right. You trade it until it fails, all right? So you, you keep going and you go. Okay, well what's next? All right? Do you see that? All right? It's fifty to the tick. Here's the. You can always look as to which one we're we're, we're tagging here. So you cleared that easily. 
right? And is this we're coming up a little short there, but that could, that could be a front run. So now just what I've just gone through here, one, two, three, three of them in a row. What's the next thing you're anticipating, not counting? I just, if this pattern is going to continue, right? Remember, we trade it till, we, till it fails, All right? So if it comes up here, what's failure? Well, well we got to break here. All right, we come, look, oh Jesus, look how perfectly this all lines up. So we can use note here that I have that alert right there, right? That because I'm <laughs> looking to catch this. Okay, if this comes up into this pocket, I'm interested, right? That's what you'd be after. Well, pardon me. You'd do it in a series of three. You'd be looking for this to finish as an ABC. Oh, pardon me. A, B, C to get that done. Oh, maybe we got a bigger, bigger A, something, something like that, right? So then keep, keep going, right? What's next? Right, that that that's the process. Right, that's how it works. And if you don't know that, if if that, if you just learn that for the first time, maybe you're well, certainly members know that. But if you're a new YouTube sub, whoa, did your eyes just get opened? Right, start playing with that. Pick, pick any chart, any asset, any time frame does not matter. Chart, I don't care what it is. Right, you're gonna find the exact same thing. Okay, so let's uh, let's get that off of there. All right, that is how the market moves, not why it moves. It's how it moves, all right? It's all algorithms doing it. So we're kind of left here going, well, I mean, you only have so many plays here. Either you're trading, you know, very short term or you're under an hour and you're just kind of trying to work some of these micro swings. Well, shit, maybe not so micro, but I mean, that's not, I think that's a that's an entirely different approach to trading here. Now, as we just continue to drift lower, that may be what you choose to do. I, that's really not, it's not so much what, what I'm trying to teach you here. We're, we're kind of, I, I would tell you, LA Wave is most effective. I mean, 60 minutes at a minimum, right? Once you get below that, yeah, you're going to find, you know, it can be effective, but really where it pays is when we get above 60 minutes, right? You start getting into equities and it's really the daily charts is where it really shines. So we're just left kind of waiting for resolution here. Okay, so if this comes up and we get a four here, well, that's, yeah, I'm interested in selling that, right? Make that distinction between trading capital and holding capital. Right, you get a setup here again. I mean, given the see, the, careful about thinking. Oh well, shit, it's done it four four times in a row. Well, it, it can't do it a fifth. No, it can't. It can't possibly do it a fifth time. Whoa, right? Based on the pattern that we have set here, what? I, you know, it, I mean, if we arrive here, and l unless we do something like this, right? We're just there's some trigger event or some some catalyst that would cause it to go, which I, damn, I could think of what it'd be. You know, rarely will it be something you're expecting, but some sort of catalyst to make that rock. Well, if we get into this pocket area here and we stall, well, look, look at the risk reward that would be there. Well, let's just tee it up. All right, is that, that's not a hard trade to take. Very clear exit. You're not trying to hit a home run here. All right, first target. It's three and a half to one. Yeah, it's assuming, you know, we don't know. You should probably split that just for demonstration's sake. Here, let's give it a little. Oh, I might give that the 707 just to give it a little a little cushion. Oh, where are you, 707? Right, so you, I might give the stop just to the other side of that, just a little bit. Target there, four to one. I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with that trade. But that's that's what you know. The big swing structure here is not really teeing up a major major low. So to play this into that right after this, oh shit! Oh god, that's another one too. Right, I almost forgot this one. I mean, again, why why would you not take these? All right there it is again. I'll bet you that's one too. All right, it's just over and over again. Right there it is again. All right there's a fifty. Well, actually, you got the golden zone here. It's just over and over and over again, right? It's just it's just what the market does, right? It's, that's how the institutions move it, right? And you think, oh, boy, I thought the institutions weren't in Bitcoin. Oh, <laughs> oh that's comical. Okay, so um, I think we got that uh, all handled here. Get all of this. Not much to do, right? Just kind of wait. Now, if we got down here and we come off of this with a five, right? What it could be a diag, it doesn't just a five, right? Now, okay, now we got something to work with, right? Doesn't mean that that's the low, but I got something to work with. 
I've got to, see at that point we'd have, we'd have a pattern we could lean into and say oh okay I see something I recognize I'm at a location that would make sense if I here if I pull this all the way back out all right we out here and say oh, oh oh here I'm over on BitGet so there's the COVID low this would be the one so you'd we'd be in the highest probability location for the two if 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 right well we don't have that but if this right, so you you can almost just Oh, okay, right. So now is, 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 is 14, 13 enough to freak the market out? Probably not, right? That's my only trepidation in kind of teeing this up. I don't have, I don't have the, big, the big, oh God, crypto's over. Well, if we go from where we are to 10, 10 11,000, that's gonna freak some people out. I mean, we'd just be coming back to the golden zone. It's not going to freak me out, right? I mean, if anything, if we get to if we get offered down here at eleven twelve, I, I'm going to need a bigger a bigger boat, a bigger truck, if you will, to back up to the, the that opportunity right there, right? And the, I promise you, people will be well. Retail will be in freak mode. The media will be cryptos over. The hodlers, well, yeah, and we're going to need a bigger truck. Um, Okay, so I think I think that's all there. I don't know shit. What else is there to say here? Hurry up and wait, right? Or just do, do that small swing trading here, just working off of measured moves. Let's go over to Ethereum real quick. This I think is slightly more interesting. Oh, pardon me. There's one other thing here just to throw into the mix. Oh shit, I gotta find it. Okay, yeah, it's out here. I think it's on Bitstamp. Here's where I had it teed up. Oh, let's see. Our old friend. Now, kind of in sync with what I'm, what I've been telling you. Well, shit, what I've been saying for five years, right? The the market move. Right? We don't move the markets, right? Institutions, whales, call them what you will. They move. They move the market. Doesn't matter what market we're talking about. Institutions, ninety what ninety five percent of it is all done through algorithms. Right? So what we're always doing is just trying to identify an algorithm, right? So the measured move, right? Again, that's David Halsey's contribution to the TA world. He discovered that um, we've, oh, if you've ever seen, uh, I did kind of a little, oh, kind of a deductive reasoning as to how he came up, uh, up with it. It's my own, I, it's not from speaking to him directly, but just um, knowing that, knowing a little bit about this, some of the approaches that were there. Oh, shit, I think it's, oh, it's on the site somewhere. If anybody's interested, just just ping me or comment under the video and I'll, I'll send you the link to it. I can't remember what date is it a while back. I think it was the history. I did the history of it anyway. Okay. So here I'm rambling. Okay. So let me, let me just get to this. So the point being that it's just, it's all done by algorithms, right? So what we're looking for are algorithms that leave footprints, right? The, thus the measured move, right? It leaves a big fat footprint that we can track. So we know what it did last. Well, here's another one. All right. Well, this is Wolf Range, right? Members all know this one. It's one of our favorites. Now this is again, zero, zero possibility this is coincidental none as i've said many many times you've heard me say this many times right we human beings right our emotional reactions to money we are not this precise this is tick precise right so here's the the way you approach range expansion right this is just again most of the things i teach you are all things that were taught to me Right, and this was taught to me years ago. It's just range expansion, but the key to it is your first swing, right? That's what sets the whole thing up. So here's the first swing that before we get a, a, a meaningful retracement here. So we lock in on the first swing. Okay, so from there, we're just gonna expand down 100%, right? So if I get a, a ping here at the 100%, I know I'm onto something. Okay, so now I'm looking, okay, what happens? Well, now, oh, we don't make 200 right back and I'm tagging the, the 100 here before I come down, I get the 200 to the tick, right? So you look at that and you say, okay, well, if what does that mean? Does that mean the low's in? No, what that means is that if we break here, we're likely going here, right? If this algo is gonna stay in control, well, we don't, we, we, we could do something like this, right? Come back, test it, right? Next up is 300 which is down here at, at 9850. I'm gonna need another truck, <laughs> truth be told. All right, so if, if that's coming down, but th this is, don't lose track of that, All right? So it's, it's one more thought to think, oh God, could we be done here? Well, if, if that, oh, if, if this is gonna be, oh shit, come here. If this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, right? It doesn't 
you're kind of left going, wait, 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 wait. I thought we were going to finish down here at 11, 12. Battling algos, right? Who's, who's going to win that, right? We, 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 can, I, we can see it right here, right? It's, it's not like, I mean, you can replicate the same thing. Now, note I am in log scale. Who's going to win it, right? So what's the, what's the battle? We got one algo fighting here. Oh, we got another one here. All right now, this one has just hit targets. Right, do you see that? I'm assuming you guys see this. Here's the, here's the low. Here's the 50. Here's the well, we threw the target, right? So there's the that's the 300%. So we've cleared that target. There was second target. Third would be down here. So potentially now you look and you go, oh, that's that's kind of interesting confluence here. Could we be done here? <sighs> you know, I don't. I think that's unlikely myself, but. As a long-term holder, I wouldn't be sad about it. But that said, I think the, the alternate here is the count that I have teed up here. Is why part of the reason I want to come over here. Okay, so let's 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 take that the wolf off, right? We know it's there, right? So that's the kind of thing you don't want to lose track of it. You could even rename it something so you know it that it's there. Don't lose track of it. What's the alternate here that we've gone that this has been W X Y and that all of this this consolidation here is part of it of a, a larger x right we could do it this way so i know eliticians have considered this right it's part, it's part of the okay if it's w x right then what's the implication right so from there if if this is going to be an expanded b oh fuck however yeah i guess we'd have to do that a b and this so we're looking for an impulse here which is going to have the whole, all the market right all the, oh hell it lows in here we go and then you know what do you get here right if that if Potentially, if it's impulse one, two, right? But would this be the pattern that would tee you up to say, oh, I'm going balls deep there? It's not a finish that really works. What you'd be, if, if we got this, right? And you can see, oh God, wouldn't that? Well, okay, so a couple of things line up there, right? Where, where would you be looking for the second X? Get back here. Oh, where are you? Second X, right? At the six one at the golden zone, right? So and there and there happens to be a supply zone right there. So could this be the A B C of the second X relative to this X? And we're gonna do so. Then it spreads out a little bit better, and the symmetry would play a little bit better. But are we gonna do this? Now we're coming down to twelve. I mean, I'm just I, I'm just guesstimating there. A B C A B C A B. Well, what would you if 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 we got that? What are you anticipating right there? Ooh, look at that for a free draw, pretty good. Because you've done this for as long as I've done it. That would get you potentially right there. Could we do it there? Do we need to go to the lower target? This would be a second target. You're down here. 11, 12. Now, 11, 12. We come back here. 11, oh, where was I? 11, 12, right? That's that pocket between the 50 and the golden zone. Right, right down here. It's all kind of tees up for it. So either you're doing it through that through the ending diag. If we get a, a, a kick here, don't lean into it's one. Not yet, not yet, right? Because it's, if you you can't, uh, I'd be cautious, right? Because how are you gonna how are you finishing, right? You, you would have to have a finish here that made sense to you that you could validate. Well, no, I shouldn't say it that way. If you're an if you're applying Elliott wave here, this would be a very 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 unusual final low. Now, if anything can do something unusual, it would be Bitcoin, but that would be a head scratcher in there. So don't don't make assumptions here. If, 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 right? First, do, do we get an impulse here? No, remains to be seen. Okay, let's go over to ETH. This is uh, same thing, right? It's exactly the same, right? Exa exactly. Shit, I mean, I could just start working on right one one after the next, right? 50 target right, it's just over and over and over right it never changes right so then you go oh hey that was pretty cool well look at that oh, on that four. Oh, but over here wouldn't be any good would it right now wouldn't be there now no not now so what do you have here right so this is again just stuff we've been you know we teach right so that's a textbook perfect can't script this stuff i can't make this shit up golden corner pocket right there right highest odds in trading right 80 percent probability we make the median line we're coming out of a golden corner i've got an algo there behind me that's the trade you want to take okay you say oh well, shit i missed that one 
damn it, if I had only known that I could have made, look at the amount of money I'd made there. Was well, that the only one? We'd probably take this off. Well, here, we'll just hide it. Don't, see, careful about thinking that, oh, shit, well, that worked before, but it's not going to work now. Yeah, before, when I didn't know about it. Yeah, sure, it's great then. Wouldn't work again, would it? Well, this one, I think, actually, they pulled it from this pivot here. All right, they used a secondary pivot for this. So here's Golden Zone. Now, note target is below and unhit. So this is the this is what's making this a little bit trickier here. This is you could you could actually get a low in here in ETH that would make sense. Now a couple of things to note here. So A B no look what's the high probability zone? So you think so we always look at that as the high probability zone for a three. It's a it's a a common zone for an extension in a C. Right? If, we, if this is one, two, three, there's a triangle four, and we're coming down for the five, that's, a, that's an extension target for a C to do one, six, one, eight, one, seven, five, just like a three. Right, so we come back from that, kick into a golden zone. Now we've got unfilled targets down here, and we've got a pretty good base down here that kind of gives us a potential. Now you say, okay, well, all right, that one is unmet. God damn it, I wish I'd known about that one, but oh, maybe it didn't matter. Right? So then you go, well, what about the next one? Right, you see that? Right now, take note here. Not the 618. Right? Golden zone. So what do we get here? Right, just boom. Right to the target. Right. Again, I just cannot make this shit up. Can't do it. Right. It would no no way I can just do this. As I've said, I've probably shown this over ten thousand times. Well, here we do right? right now we're back to the fifth. Just over and over and over again. All right. So let's get these out of here. I made that point. Okay, so what what do we expect if if we have something next? What what's the next hurdle, right? We got a next hurdle before even d thinking about getting long. We got to we got to break the algo cycle here. Got to break it. Now the word oh shoot. This this was I think we broke here. So this is slightly encouraging for. Nope, we didn't. I thought we had. I thought we had a break there. God damn it! Until we break this cycle, right? It's just, this is what they do. They trade it in cycles. Until this cycle breaks, you you really you're, you're trading on hopium here because you you know you're going to run into resistance here. Right? How many do I need to go through that again? You know you're going to run into resistance here, right? That's where the algo's sitting. It's right here. You know. So why would you buy into that? Oh, because it's oh it's it's going to break this time. This time it'll break. I can almost guarantee you, if they, if you take that approach, it won't. You got it, and you can't. What, what, the other thing you got to be, you can't do this. Oh, it broke, or now I can buy it. <laughs> it'll do that, right? You, 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 you've got to. Be, there's got to be room to move before you enter the trade. There's got to be room here. You do have well, there's shit. You could probably on a smaller time frame. There's oops, come here. There's probably some little push there. Shit, what are we talking about? Twelve hundred to twelve twenty to fourteen. Yeah, there's there's a there's a, there's some room to move here, but you got to understand here. You can't be, you, oh, I shouldn't say it that way. Be careful about saying, oh, it's just going to keep going because you got to get through this. You got to get through this. You got to get through this. These are all technical pivots that that algorithm is using to assume, oh, well, I'm just going to buy it here because I know it's going to get through because Ethereum is going to be, is going to revolutionize the world. Okay, maybe, but that's not where you want to long the market right there. It does. I see what I'm, I'm not. I'm never saying that it couldn't break. It ha, they have to break eventually, or we'd go sideways forever. Eventually, something's going to break, and okay, but God willing, there another bull market comes. But right now, you can't assume that. That's just you're just asking to give your money to to an institution. They don't need it. Don't give it to them. Don't buy right into that. That just just like you know don't. Why? 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 If you know it's there, you're really now. That's just stupid trading, right? If you know it's there and you buy into it anyway, well, you deserve your outcome, right? Now, worst possible thing that could happen to you is you buy into it and it clears, right? Because then you'll do it next time, right? Just be a matter of time before you blow your account up if you keep doing it. Oh, let's see. I had something else here I wanted to show you. We're in motive wave. Where do we get it? Oh, where are you, majors? Okay, so this is this is this is ETH over here on the daily. It's trying to work. Oh shit! I gotta pull this back a little bit. Show you what we're trying to do. Okay, so ETH 
we can still hang on to the potential that this is a four and not a two. The, it just it plays much better than Bitcoin. So one, two, I got a nice three here. The the a, the W X Y here plays right. And so note note the difference right in terms of depth. Now I'm in semi log here as is the as it is uh, with Motive Wave here. But I can go three. Look at the the symmetry, the the right look, if you will, of this count. One, two, three, four. Now I'm right at a thirty eight structural you know we broke the structure here you can make a case here that you're working off of some of that but it almost doesn't matter right so if can i go three four and get a five here and then i'm just using the upper channel here so one two so again ah. one two three four five that is a beautiful looking impulse right now doesn't mean we're going to get it but that is an awfully good looking technical pattern right when we talk about having the right look well there's the right look and it doesn't guarantee that we don't fall over here and we're revisiting this and we end up putting the five here and this becomes a, a three and we do some sort of a double here. We, we, this is the W, maybe an X and a Y. It doesn't mean, I'm not saying none of that can happen. I'm just saying right now, as we sit here, snapshot in time, this is a contender for a one, two into the fifth. And, the, and there's a pattern here that makes sense. So let's, oh shit, what do we got? Let's go, uh, let's go to a 12 hour. That a second okay so i've got an impulse here it's a little skinny on the let's open this up a little skinny on this five here and you've got a you barely squeeze it out the the the, the three four the the four to the two it's not ideal but i can get an a wave in here pretty stiff ramp on the b and then i can get a one two three uh, you know got a little off here i can get the one two three four five it's actually it plays better on the daily all right, so then we can see the one, two, three, four, three, four, five. All right, so this now has got to turn into an impulse for this to hold. So I went seven, eight, six. Here I've got a contender here for the for the one, two. All right, so one, two. I've got all the channeling is quite good. Uh, all the channeling, A, B, C. I'm coming. See how I'm intersecting as I hit the seven, eight, seven. I'm hitting the. The, the low edge of this of the channel here from the, for the from the potential a b c as i hit the 786 as i'm holding above that low now okay i got a maybe right is it one two working on the three or a b c and we go down again right no way to know but we can lean into it a little bit more so because i've got an a b c here that fits that makes sense is it a beautiful looking a b c no right? obviously right but given the extremes of what's happening here eth gonna lead us out of here really over bitcoin well, Bitcoin probably more vulnerable to getting dumped on, but this is certainly it's enticing, right? So you'd like to get that first five to complete. Now it's not going to complete up there. You'd like to see something like that, right? Give me that first five so I could lean a little bit more. If I get a retrace, then definitely would be interested. Then, okay, so now we're out here on a daily saying, okay, one, two. All right, makes sense. I recognize the pattern. We're at an area that would make sense for a two. I can see the geometries playing. I've got good, I've got good swing structure. I've got good swing symmetry. I got a whole lot of reasons to be looking here. Now, can I get a five here? It's I would tell you it's too soon. Right? It's a little if you're not already long, that's too soon to jump on that. Let it complete the five. What are you, what are you, gonna, what are you worried about, right? That it's gonna do this? Really? Okay, yeah, it's possible. It's possible. I think highly unlikely, right? So that you, you're, what you're worried about is missing a massive ripping quadruple extension in the fifth. I don't think that's something to lose sleep over, right? Could it happen? Well, shit, anything could happen. I don't think you have to worry about that. So can I get that five? If I can get that five and that little retrace, I'm going to get interested. Last thing to look at here. Let's, um, oh shit, where are you? Hang on a second. I, I have, we, we've looked at it before. But I think it's worth noting how beautiful this is setting up. Okay, this is ETH to Bitcoin. So tr trying to put all this, so we just looked at Bitcoin, doesn't look as good as ETH. ETH looks better. So that would make you think, well, I wonder what the ETH Bitcoin spread looks like. Well, we looked at this a couple of weeks ago. Th this is one of the best looking Elliott counts you're going to find anywhere, anywhere. Look at the look at the one what we've got so far. Well, here let me get it hot, right? So I've got a beautiful like oh my god, can I script that any better? Five three five three five leading diag into the one, gorgeous A B C into the two, right? We again we looked at this a couple of weeks ago. One two three four five beautiful impulse here in the third. One two three four five gorgeous A B C into the four right at the thirty eight. 
Now, coming out of this, right? So you kind of looking at the two. One, one, I can get a clear impulse there. That's not hard to spot. One, two, three, four, five. A, B, ooh, is that it? Sure looks like an A, right? Are we gonna truncate here or do we have to come down a little bit more? That doesn't quite look like it's done, but maybe, maybe you got a little truncation. It's possible, right? It looks a little bit like A, B, C, D, right? Could we turn that into a triangle? Well, no triangles in the second, right? Under any circumstance, right? So that, okay, what is it? It's possible this has to come lower. Note here, I've also got the 200, right? So we're just, above, unlike Bitcoin, we're above the 200 on the weekly, oh, pardon, or on the day, or either daily or weekly. So now I'm above the 200. Maybe you'd have to do it this way to allow for an ABC here to get a one, two, to get that to go. But you're looking for, you know, that spread 0 0.15, 0 0.17 up in here in this range for that third, right? One, if that's the two, that's what we're looking for. That would be the high probability zone here. 0.1500, right, right, right in that pocket. 0.15 and three zeros. Now, d d take note here of the date of that. We're going to, into 24. All right, if I put the, that's, uh, pardon me, pardon me, summer of 23. Here's 23, pardon me, I looked at that wrong. So we're going, that's eight months out. No, seven months out. Six, seven months. Can you wait that long for that to get there? Most people struggle with that, right? They're very impatient, right? So they, they just go, oh, fuck it. And they go to something else, right? Because they can't wait that long. You know who waits that long? Institutions. You know why? Because they're not doing it. Software's doing it. Right? Software couldn't care less. All right, guys. I think we got that covered. Um, how long am I going here? Well, that's probably that's probably enough here to get get her done. Um, just update. Right? So this, uh, well, members kind of know this. Right? So after... This will be for YouTube subs. You start seeing uh, uh, Friday. We'll keep it to Bitcoin and Ethereum. But throughout the week, you're going to see more and more on uh, equity option trading. We just did some polling of the members. And, oh, just we, we asked what was uh, of interest to where we'd take the educational content next, whether we go into working with something like a grid bot for a potential hedge or if the crypto market's going to stagnate and go sideways for a while, which is certainly possible, or whether to look at working in, um, in equity options. No options, options, but I think we'll focus more on equity. On stock options, and the, it was about three to one, the, the requests were for stock options. So we've got a new options channel. And for members, if you don't know this here, we've got now um, an option cheat sheet has been posted in there. I would anyone who's interested in options, that's a good starting point. It'd be a good reference for you. And uh, when you start looking for that more uh, in the coming weeks, we'll probably do that uh, at least a couple times a week. And then we'll keep we'll crypto mix in there as well. Okay, guys, that's all I got for the day. Look for all of that. Oh, to anyone, you know, you know, all of our links are below the video here. God, I'm so bad at that. I'm supposed to do that at the beginning. All the links are below if you're interested in joining us or any of our resources that link bio or come on over. You can join us on the site for free, right? Get started and hang out in the community. Talk to some other members. See if it's worth an investment. And don't ever take my word for it. Ask the members. Okay, guys, have a good weekend. And I'll be back Mon probably Monday or Tuesday here. I think Monday here. We'll look at some stock options. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.